It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I guess um, one of the um, people with physical disabilities who had the greatest impact on me was a person on a ventilator who, as a result of a spinal cord injury. And the deal with her is that she was stuck in a hospital with no place to go because our state at that time didn't provide any community-based support services. And so when I met her, I asked her what it is that she wanted for herself. You know, if you, if you could have your, all your druthers, what would you like for yourself? And her response was, I want a nursing home in Georgia without bugs. And the reason she said that is the only thing that she saw as possible for herself was a nursing home in South Carolina that had roaches. And so when she said to me, what I want for myself is a nursing home in Georgia without bugs, that was really uh, one of those um, epiphany moments that, my Lord, this woman has no idea that it can be any other way. So we started working on what's possible, and that's the first thing I think that you always have to do with people is to help them see that, that a decent, independent, reasonably decent independent life is possible. That's the, the first thing that you have to work on. Because the longer people have been on the inside or the, the more um, bleak the future looks for them, the harder it is for them to see anything that's other, otherwise. So I, I refer to that as the poverty of the possible. So that's the first thing that you have to tackle is that impoverished view of the world, I guess. So um, I think she was probably the most affected me more than just about any other person with physical disabilities that I have helped to resettle. The thing I notice about people with cognitive disabilities who've grown up in institutions, many of the people that I've helped to resettle in my early, in, in the early 70s and 80s, uh, grew up in uh, institutions for people with mental retardation. And what always strikes me about a lot of those folks is how amazingly resilient they are. I mean, it's just, it's astounding how easily they have adjusted to being done to and done in, you know, a lot too. Now that's not true of everyone, of course, but a lot of the people that I, I developed relationships with in the early 70s and through the early 80s were, were amazingly flexible and resilient people. And some of the things that they would talk to you about in a very matter-of-fact voice were just awful. I mean, things that they would have uh, taken from them and the circumstances in which they lived. And the It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.